This is a very special tutorial as this is going to be a Valentine's Day tutorial on how to do masking. Well, let's get started by, um, well, let me play this movie and see what we're going to do. Control enter. And you can see we get this I love you animation, which is perfect to, to send to someone online or whatever you want. You can write whatever you want, you can add images, any shapes, whatever you want, hearts. And I'll teach you how to do this right now. So, the first thing we do, let's create a new file, Action Script 3.0. I'm going to close this one and say no. And the first thing we're going to do is write the text. We have Pristina, which is the font we're going to be using. We're going to make it 125. Now let's write it. I'm going to type I love you. And you can't see it, neither can I. I'm going to change this to red because it's Valentine's or pink. No, red is good. Um, backspace, escape, V. Let's put this down here. No, escape, V. Put this down here. So, what we did. Now, this is too big, the stage. So, we're going to make this 200. Now that seems a bit more perfect. Let's put it right here. Yeah, right there. Maybe we want to make this bigger. 130. Yeah, it seems fine with us. Right there in the center. Now the easy step is done. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this a little bit, the timeline, and we're gonna put in 150 which should be right here, this little gray right here, not the white, the gray and you press F5 on your keyboard and now you see we have all this gray area, don't worry about it, just leave it oops, I pressed the wrong one, oops, hold on I pressed F7, I need to press F5 and you should see this gray box now, the next thing you do is right here on the corner, the very bottom left corner a flash click new layer the layer should be on top the new one that you created should be on top on the original layer and we're gonna lock this so no not lock yeah lock it so we don't make any changes the next thing we're gonna do is get our, our brush tool pick the biggest one and make sure it's a circle you can make this whatever color you want because it will not matter what color you pick, but I'm going to pick black. I'm going to zoom in to 200%. And now the first thing we do is I'm going to click and drag at 150. No, yeah. Click and drag, highlight all of these, and keep going, keep going. And then press Shift F5. That's going to delete everything here. Hold on, I did that. Shift F5. Now they're all gone. And just draw on this little like that. And then press F6. Press F6 again. Draw a little. F6 on your keyboard. Press click on the time frame right here. This little, little dot, um, little square after this square and press F6 it should come back and then draw a little more click F6 click a little square F6 again F6 and what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep doing this for every single letter I don't wanna finish this one and show you just keep doing this it doesn't matter if it's all jiggly or anything just as long as you cover some of the letter the way you want it to be written so let's keep going and then you're almost done with this letter right here I with this is an I and 
F6. And then just start with a new letter. And you just keep doing this and doing this and doing this and doing this with all the letters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and just keep doing what I did here with this letter. And then, I'll, and then we'll proceed to the next step. So I'm just going to pause it now. She's got you high and you don't even know yet She's got you high and you don't even know yet The sun's in the sky, it's warming up your bare legs And you can't deny you're looking for the sunset She's got you high and you don't even know yet She's got you high and you don't even know yet So search for the time So see you for completely done the next step is you see you have all these free spaces right here that you didn't use and what you would do is click on 150 and then press F5 not F6 F5 and now you have this one long um, gray space that should fit with this now um, the next step is very simple you have these two layers. I'm going to name this one text. This one holds the text. This one holds the mask. And then you're going to click this. Right click. Click mask. And now you see everything's gone. But if you press control enter. You'd see we have I love you. A 17 and run this again press enter here FPS and you can increase this by going left dragging it left or right or double clicking it and then typing the number you want 19 then press the ruby and that's yeah I'm just gonna leave it at 19 and you can add whatever you want and just do the same steps you did in the last for these shapes right here and that's it for this story on how to do masks Thanks for